Hey friends, so today is Wednesday, the fifth week in Lent, and the title for today's devotion is The Funeral Interrupter. Hmm. Luke 7, I think I do that every single time. His titles are almost as intriguing as his writings, and that's Chad Bird when I say his. Did I get his little, oh, there we go. Chad Bird. Um, his titles are just so fascinating too. They kind of send my mind down one path. Good thing that the rest of the lesson's there because while I'm going off this path, he kind of grabs us and is like, oh, actually, I meant this over here. But the title for today is nonetheless, The Funeral Interrupter. Luke 7, 14 says this. Then Jesus came up and touched the casket and the bearers stood still. And he said, young man, I say to you, arise. He was all that she had left. Her husband had died, and now she walked beside the corpse of her only son. There was no social safety net for widows in the first century. Who would care for her now? Every step toward the grave brought her closer to a life choked by the shadow of death. So when Jesus halted the procession, he stopped more than a funeral. He stopped darkness and anxiety. He unburied the hope of this grieving mother. His words, young man, I say to you, arise, spoke resurrection as much to the mother as to the son. Jesus gets in the way of death. His touch of grace in our lives and his shining words of life stop our march to the grave. Whether you're buried beneath shame, doubt, sadness, fear, or death itself, he speaks life into us. His cross entombs death, and his resurrection raises us to hope and healing once more. Let's pray. Christ Jesus, halt the progress of darkness in our lives by the dawn of your mercy. Amen. Amen. Okay, so this is one of those instances where I did kind of think this was the direction that the that this uh, devotion was going to go in when we hit the title, The Funeral Interrupter, and praise God for his interrupting. And to us, we might look at this and go, but he was too late. Why, why didn't he do this sooner? God's timing is always perfect. Even right now, as we look around and we see all of this that is going on around us, his timing is perfect. Praise God for his timing. Praise God for his funeral interruptions. And praise God for such a time as this. I love you so much, my friends, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.